we back again with new video guys this is uh, sampath you watching sampath samfx youtube channel and this is poco f3 the xiaomi mi 11x custom rom reviews back with new video and you can see this at a glance feature you can change the settings from here and this all the settings what we get and this is the typical home screen customizations what we get there is a launcher here launcher 14 developer edition has been printed and act as a default launcher here app drawer you get this all the customizations dock again you get this one and home screen again you get plenty of customization show status bar dark status bar is also available and other things you can check out here and in the general you get home screen rotation and font again you get plenty here number of fonts are available you can check out them icon style again system icons larger icons if you want something else you can download from the play store themes again light dark system accent color notification dots you need to enable change settings here into launch here enable the notification access now it has been turned on notification dots again dot color also you can select here if you want something in green i can make it out and wallpaper system managed by launcher and custom color options are also available so again in that saturation and other things are given and these are the enhanced notifications flash notifications bubbles features are available by the way this is the project elixir as you can see this is the project elixir rom available for poco f3 xiaomi mi 11x standard version is 14 here as you can see and the security patch level is february 5 2024 elixir version is 4.1 kernel version is 4.19.300 nexus alert version 26 that's the kernel use here is syrinx status is enforcing device alert or alert in baseband version you can see and the build date is the february 26 latest edition this is the project elixir os and this is typical home screen and this all the apps i'm using and this is the app drawer and this is the quick settings toggle and there is no uh, dolby atmos here in the toggles let's see into the settings if it is available or not and coming into dialer here you get a basic google dialer here as you can see you can make direct call from here and there is a call recording feature but it will announce that other person you are recording the call that kind of dialer is available here quick settings toggle it is smooth no problem whatsoever and regarding some apps installed here this wiper fx has been enabled here if you want you can use it out once you play any audio files using any of the uh, applications then it will auto detect the bluetooth earphones or the neckband whatever you use auto detect and choose accordingly and you also get this pre-installed uh, application here with preloaded music i think so they have added that and camera application again you get a proper MIUI Leica integrated in the video options you get 4k 60 in the photo mode this is all the options you get this is not a hyper os camera application this is a MIUI camera application hasn't updated it and file manager is pre-installed and fm radio is not given it simply missing wiper effects and music and this game space is there just you can add the game and here you get into the settings you get use angle and perform mode is performance also some benchmark results and all i have here screenshots yeah we'll start with the geekbench only triple one nine is a single score three two eight one is a multi-score again links four point one nine point three double zero nexus alert kernel lander version is 14 and this is a antidote benchmark this is 6 lakh 42243 temperature raise was 5.8 degree celsius and and this one the battery percentage is 5 percent during this testing and cts profile match and basic entity both getting passed that's fine here level sorry this is the or uh, sjr 10 support and level 1 certified and this is internet connection speed i have 200 mps atl fiber connection and turbo watt charging gradually it will increase the wattage up to 20 watts or like that that's the support from this particular rom into the settings again if i come back here you get this one uh, essence here you get all the customizations into themes again use custom theme there are some themes headline body font again these are some other uh, fonts and icon pack icon shape signal style icon style and you get plenty here wi-fi icon style and brightness slider styles are also given here that's fine and that icon style these are the things you get in the theme section lock skin again you get some 
customization here double tap to sleep gesture is there in the status bar if you want you can enable that quick settings again you get print of options here too gestures again swipe to three finger screenshot if you want you can enable that double tap is there navigation mode into gesture navigation there is option to increase the pill length and back gesture right but not the radius but it's fine the radius the height has been given that's fine and traditional three button two button navigation bar if you want you can do that and other settings you can see touch screen gestures are also there in the miscellaneous settings you get advanced restart button and high unlock high pass count in bgm kind of games and there are some google photo unlimited storage you need to enable that you need to read this and this is how the uh, customizable settings now moving into the actual settings here into system again you get these kind of options here system ui tuner is again the st status bar ambient display always on or remove it and do not disturb and plugins you can check out here and multiple users reset options these are present in the system settings safety and emergency and accessibility menu which is an handy feature that's also available and sound and vibration it's fine no dolby atmos or anything like this what i said before and adaptive playback live caption media player that's there vibration and haptic strength you can adjust storage is fine battery again uh, this is the minor sorry, major bug here the battery draining is very much just see the start of the video it was around 70 percent now it is 67 after a few minutes it will again gradually decreasing the battery life this is the big bug or big down side of this particular room hence i don't recommend it as a daily driver for me 11x or the poco f3 guys extreme battery saver is given here you can schedule it out and you get options optimization profiles are also given battery life is the worst thing what i have observed in this particular rom guys it's draining a lot here you can see the battery usage also gradual decrease in battery life is happening here after after even after some time also it is draining i don't know why it's there like that and wallpaper style and again in the home screen you get uh, more wallpapers here as you can see this is the wallpapers you get random walls and elixir wallpapers everything is given here space wallpapers those are some extra added feature lock screen customizations are there here android 14 style that's not a problem here and into the display again extra dim feature lock screen skin dark theme is given but when i turn it on you will not get the pitch black condition there is an option to enable that also but in the custom uh, options there is option We'll go into essence again and select here themes and select the custom theme and select here vivid monet now it will be in the dark here and some uh, effect to be added into the theme that's how it is uh, these are the recent apps what i'm using now and that's the battery life is really really bad in this particular rom and we'll do one thing i have checked everything let's check the fingerprint unlock yeah that's also working fine and the face unlock yeah it is also working fine no problem in face unlock and fingerprint unlock you can see on the screen guys let's see bgm and end of this video and the graphic settings are smooth plus 90 has been enabled here you will get that option and there is a real time address count you can see on the left side and corner Initial experience is fine, no lag whatsoever. The gaming experience is fine here. no lag in the game whatsoever but the biggest thing is the battery life case the draining is too much here i used they have mentioned that use the regional latest firmware i have used that even after changing it to global also it is the same i have tested Thing to do with the firmware the rom itself is not a uh, efficient rom i 
it's not that much efficient here the battery life is big blow to this particular rom guys that would have been better okay i'll come back here that's the uh, rom performance and everything this is the recent apps smoothness is there but you can see the battery draining here it's now 65 percent it is a little bit on the draining side uh, definitely not like completely draining within half an hour or anything like that but oh, it's okay. not up to the level of five hours or four and a half hours kind of skin and time while playing bgma it might give only two to three hours of battle hence i don't recommend it as a dilator as of now but let's wait if it is a 4.2 version will be releasing very soon if it is having very good battle life, then i will recommend and they should add that some other features if they are missing in the particular room that's it get this sampath we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now